Hi everybody, welcome back to Scrappy Adam and welcome to a brand new series to me. It's not a brand new series to others, but I have joined this awesome series. So this is May I Scraplift You and it is a series created by the awesome Crystal over at Pineapple Papers. And I believe it was a month long series that's then turned into something that a bunch of people have continued every Saturday. So here we are. I am joining because I love scrap lifting and I don't do it nearly enough. So in the description box down below, you will have links to everybody playing along doing May I Scrap Lift You, including Sandy, Karina, Crystal, Moira and Alex. And this is my first week of may i scrap lift, scrap lift you so i thought it would be fun to honor the person that created the series so i am scrap lifting crystal and you can find crystal on youtube and instagram as pineapple papers so this is the layout that i have chosen to scrap lift and we have a background paper three tags down here with some twine and then sort of three triangles of paper at the top. Now Crystal has got like a thin border between them. I think I'm gonna go for a thicker border. Well, I am, I've pre-prepared some stuff. Then we've got one photo, some clusters here in a bit of a triangle and sort of three journaling, journaling spots overlapped. I may put my little spin on it by doing two photos, I don't know. And those of you that watched my live on Friday night, yes, last night, will have seen that I did scrap these photos then. This is another page for Chris to keep. Um, so yeah, hence why I... This is also a hop, which is to the moon and back. And that is hosted by Rachel Talman. So I thought I would combine these just to edge myself in gently to may i scrap lift you and the other hops and so check out the description box down below for all of the details for that one as well because there are tons of awesome people playing along so my title will indeed be i love you to the moon and back and i will use some alphas of sorts for that so that's another way that i'm going to put my own spin on it so i might put a bit of something here and then do it there i do have the alphas from the collection i'm using which are called Rainbow Fun, and these are Pebbles Kid at Heart. So I have a couple of packs of these, so I may use these for my long title, because I do love a tile alpha. So this background paper is actually Vicky Booting's Fernwood, and it's this fern paper, but it is the other side. This is from the paper pad, so on single sheets, if you are looking for it, I don't know if these are the same, because they sometimes change the front and back of them. But I really want to use this paper, I just love it. I have matted my photo three times on white, a blue and a foiled paper from the collection. The rest of what I'm going to use is from Kid at Heart from Pebbles. And I have already done my little triangles because I have issues with triangles, guys. And we've got these three layers going there. Our photos will then go here, such as that like crystal does in her inspiration so if we look here she's got a photo and the journaling cards so i'm just going to go with that and then see where we end up now crystal doesn't really have a title on here i'm guessing family or remember maybe the title so as i said down here i may use this space for our big title let's see where we go so i'm going to start with getting these down. And these are going to go here. Like so, gosh, it's very windy outside. The weather has been dreadful. Then we've got this hello paper and the cream background. If you guys could see me now, you <laughs> I shouldn't really tell you this because it's ridiculous. You would laugh your head off. See, I can't even put triangles equal. I am sat here with a bag of frozen cauliflower on my feet. No word of a lie. If I could show you, I would. 
I basically got burning feet. I did something. Oh, what the heck is that, Adam? I did something a bit silly. I had a bit of dry skin, quite dry skin on my foot. Nothing horrific. And I thought, oh, self heating foot cream. That looks good. Don't use it because it blooming gets hot. God, it's so hot. Anyway, enough of that. Let's get these on. So I'm going to go with this one on there. Now, I said before that Chris would be having one of the layouts, which he will. But if he wasn't and I just wanted to scrap the same photo, you know what? I have done that before and it's totally fine. Do what makes you happy. Just getting some fun foam. Crystals, when I was scrolling through her Instagram, this layout just popped out at me. I love it. Okie dokie. So we're going to get oh, that on there. Let's get that going sort of there, I think. So that is the basics of our layout done, really. Excuse me for one moment. <laughs> things we do guys okay then let's see what embellishments we might have so this is a completely different page if you did see my live I think it is on replay in the in, on my channel and this is completely different with the same title which I just love so what I wanted to see, Crystal has some tags down here. Now there are tags in the pack. Just wondering if we can use any. <clears throat> um, ba -ba -ba -bum. Let's have a look. Oh no, 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 no. This is why I shouldn't open my ephemera and the sides like my stickers. <laughs> okay. I'm thinking we might actually use a little frame. They're weird. They're perforated. Strange just caught my eye. No, that's going to be a bit ridiculous. So let's just go for it and put our title on. So I'm going to grab both sheets out and I'm going to go for a mixed rainbow because we have all the colours. So you basically have a repeat and then a repeat etc. Okay. You don't get numbers in this one but that's okay. To the moon and back. Okay, I was just figuring it out how I wanted it to go, so, T-O-T-H-E, so let's start with our E. So we're going to go here, and as usual, if you've been following me for any length of time, since I started YouTube, I am going to do wonky tiles, that is how I roll. Let's go with orange. I don't mind if there are some letters with the same colour next to each other. I'll try to not do it, but it's inevitably going to happen. It looks like you basically get two of some 
There you go. Ignore that. I was thinking they were all one. Okay, so we've got T2 there. So we're going to have love up there. <clears throat> Two there. Okay, so we'll come slightly up there. Then let's go with an orange O and a yellow O. Now, obviously, because there are no punctuation or numbers, we don't have any ampersands. That's fine. Doesn't bother me. Let's introduce some new colours. I'm going to change that slightly. Just because I don't want it to be the same way as that. And... One of these... I should also say these alphas, this collect whole collection, is from Hey Little Magpie. If you want to see a flip through, check out the Hey Little Magpie YouTube channel, which I will try to remember to link down below. I'll try. If I don't, just YouTube search Hey Little Magpie and that will come up. And the lovely Sarah has filmed the flip through and uploaded it today. And you can see how fun this collection really is. Okay, to the moon and back. So, so we want this to go sort of... Let me pull that up and let's do the A and the C at the same time so we can see roughly where the middle is. Okay, then let's do another orange. Okay, so we've got our little title going on there, and I've replaced crystal tags with a little title. I should have said crystal if you are watching. I definitely go rogue, so I hope, I hope I, uh, I hope that's okay, and you like the end results. So then we're going to have love you, which is the same length as that, so I know where to place that. I did wonder whether to put you and then have love in a different font. I don't know if we have love in it. Oh, so we have love here. Ooh. Have we got it in either of these? That's too big. Love you. Ooh, let me have a look at that. Oh, I'm going to do that, guys. I'm going to do that. I, I love this collection. It's so fun. Very random. Very quirky. If you're not into your randoms and your quirkies, then it's probably not for you. But it's definitely great for card making, as is the case with Pebbles collections. But scrapping as well. I just love the funness of it. Okay, so we're going to have that there so then our title is uh, so love you to the moon and back there we go now then let's get some embellishment going I do have some flair next to me from dotty about flair which I would like to get on so I might pop one here there we go now let's refresh our memory this is crystal so down here as we've explained we're not having the tags Crystal has placed her photograph slightly differently as well, but there's a little bit of embellishment cluster here, a little bit of something in the middle, if we look there, something here and something there. So I am vaguely going to follow this 
of a fashion. Let's see what we've got. I haven't been through the embellishments. Okay, so let's see if anything sticks out at us. Not sure about that yet, so let's leave that there. See, there's like a mouse with a fishing rod catching a butterfly on the back of a crocodile or an alligator. So random. Love it. See, so I think we'll replace that with that because I love that colour. Little party hedgehog. Dancing frog. <laughs> I can't believe I'm saying these things. We, we like a bit of fun and random, Chris and I, so let's just do it. Why not? Why not? If Julie's watching, I apologise. <laughs> then it's got a, like a cute cockroach. Oh, it's just crazy. Cute ladybird or ladybug for the for my US friends. And we've got a little heart here, so I'd like to get that on. So I'm, I'm not sticking yet, I'm not committing straight away because it is a whole page of random. So I just want to be sure as we go through all the bits and pieces. See, like on a unicycle, it's, it's crazy. Okay. Now, So I've kind of moved this cluster from up here down to here, which is okay. Scrap lifting is all about making your interpretation, I believe. We have got a floral for up there. See, I've got this so much lately. The printing on that is diabolical. So frustrating. I've had it with loads of stuff lately. Does anybody else have that? I know I can cut around it, but that's not the point. You're paying quite a big money for... An ephemera pack, you don't want to be cutting, do you? We've got some lovely snails. Three mice. See, I thought there was a bigger cluster. Kind of want that to go there. I'm thinking sort of like... That, let me move that. Okay, so I'm just gonna I'm gonna cut that one off because we're gonna put that there, and I really would like to use this orange. Maybe that can just poke out there. So it's just going to be like that. It's not going to be a big thing. It just gives that pop of orange there as well. A little tortoise with some flowers. A dancing avocado. If you're doing Calvin Ball, you need this uh, collection. Okay, I have got this little banner piece that I thought we might have fitted on, but maybe not. And then this big rainbow. I do love a rainbow, but that is quite big. Then, <coughs> excuse me, we also have the phrase ephemera. For this, I am just going to look rather than go through it. Um, so there is this one which is foiled, it's iridescent foil, and it's on most of the things in this collection. So I quite like the idea of that there. I'm going to just go for it. Let's get committing. I do have this floral on my tape runner as well. 
that's going to go there. Let's get this stuck down. So that can just go like so. And this. And these. I'm going to go with the dancing frog, guys. Like a bit of fun. And I don't think you can get more fun than a dancing frog. that to go sort of under there and then I'm going to move this guy up a bit to here just so his hand whatever you call a frog's paw I don't know whatever it is I don't want it touching my face basically okay and then I quite like the idea of some flowers at the end of the rainbow. We've got this little smile tab, uh, number one. And what is that? Let's have a quick one. Oh. Oh, it's the dog carrying. See, it's perfect for cards. I don't think there's anything in here. Nope. So let's pop that away. So that is our ephemera packs. I'll just have a quick whiz through these. So we've still got this smile patch and the adhesive patch. Now, I'm not sure this is the right layout for this patch. Nope. And definitely not for the rainbow because it is quite big. Then let's have a look at the sticker book. So we've got this little love, which I am going to stick on my photo as I do. So I've kind of followed Crystal's inspiration, the scrap lift that I'm doing, but I've added my own little twist onto it as I do. And actually, I am really pleased with it. Thank you so much for the inspiration, Crystal. Let's see if we can get a little rainbow there. I'm going to use, I don't think we have any more flowers there. So I am going to use one of the florals, this one here, and I'm going to use it just under here just to add a little bit of something there and to sort of bring the photo around and that uh, do, do, do. see these are like perfect card sentiments so that is that we have got the thickers which i think we have looked and decided there isn't anything I have also only used one flare, and that is totally okay. Just landed. I'm going to pop that there. Why not? I have got an epoxy flare here, which I thought we might have fitted in somewhere. Not under there though. I'm going to pop that there. Epoxy flare are perfect for layering under your normal flare, like so. Ooh. Like so. And equally under your little photos as well and of course we have these just to complete our randomness see even the bird isn't cut properly I wish they'd do uh, quality checks 
Mm. That looks a bit out of place. Put a bit of bird there. Why? Embrace the randomness. Um, if random is your kind of thing, check out a new series. It's monthly, so only one video a month. On Monday, where there are a few of us playing along. Such fun. So we've got this little smile circle. We've got a cute little cloud, which I'm going to pop onto my epoxy flare. And I think we'll also put a little smiley face onto that flare. And that, guys, is going to do it. What I am going to do now to finish it off nicely is add a bit of journaling here, I think. So it's just a bit of personal journaling. It just says loving you is so easy because you're just so perfect. Life is happy and complete with you. And then I have just said love all because that is our little thing between us. And that is now going to do it. Let me just pick it up and just give you a close up. The only thing I wish I'd done is used a cardstock rather than paper pad for this because it is quite flimsy. But it will be in a page protector so it's fine. As I say, thank you so much to Crystal for inviting me to join the May I Scraplift You squad. I will be here every Saturday for that. And I think for my initial few videos, I'm going to Scraplift the May I Scraplift You squad. And I've just said squad, so we're now a squad. Um, and also check out the description down below for the to, the to the Moon and Back Hop, which is such fun as well. I will see you tomorrow. When's this? Saturday? See you tomorrow for LE Sunday. And I hope you're having a lovely weekend. Bye for now.